In this part of video, we will be talking about relational queries. So the first query is find the song title whose lyricist is female and has more than 60,000 downloads. So first we will be selecting all the female lyricists and we will be projecting LID from there which will be stored in A. Next we will be joining table song and A wherever SLID is equal to LID and selecting all the rows where downloads is greater than 60,000. From there we will be projecting SID and title which will be stored in result. Next query is find singers born after 1 January 1995 and whose album sold more than 10,000 units. First we will be selecting the number of albums whose sales is greater than 10,000. From there we will be projecting out ALSSN which will be stored in A. Then we will be taking about we will be taking out all the rows from musician table where DOB is greater than 1 January 1995 and joining it with A wherever SSN is equal to ALSSN. From there we will be projecting out first name and last name which will be stored in result. Next is find the song title whose genre is hip hop and downloads more than 10,000. In A we will be storing out all the songs whose downloads is greater than 10,000. Then from genre we will be selecting all the genre whose category is hip hop and, and joining it with A wherever GSID is equal to SID. From there we will be projecting title which will be stored in result. Next is show the details of album whose musician live in Mumbai. In A first we will be selecting all the home where city is Mumbai. Now musician and home have one common attribute called house number. So using natural join wherever the both house number is same they will be joined. From there we will be projecting SSN. Then album and A will be joined where ALSSN is equal to SSN and from there album ID and title will be projected which will be stored in result. Next is album by Kundan Kumar under label Universal Music. First we will be taking out all the releasing IDs of all the stuff which is released by Universal Music. Then it, we will be joining it with album wherever album releasing ID is equal to releasing ID. It will be stored in A. Now we will be taking out all the SSN of all the members, all the musician whose first name is Kundan and last name is Kumar and we will be joining it with A wherever SSN is equal to ALSSN. From there we will be projecting out title which will be stored in result. Next is find the musician who plays stringed guitar. In A we will be storing out all the instrument ID where the category of instrument is string and name of instrument is guitar. In B we will be first joining the musician plays and A table where PL instrument ID is equal to instrument ID and projecting out the PLSSN which will be stored in B. Then musician and B will be joined wherever SSN is equal to PLSSN and first name and last name will be projected which will be stored in result. So now we will be talking about normalization. Normalization is the process of minimizing redundancy from a relation or set of relation. So we will be checking if our relation is in first normal form or not. So any relation is in first normal form if it does not contain any composite or multi-valued attribute. So this is our relational schema and as you can see we do not have any multi-valued or composite attribute. This implies all our relational schema is in first and form. Now going to our second normal form. So for a relation to be in second normal form it must be in first normal form and if a relation has primary key that contains multiple attribute so no known key attribute should be functionally dependent on proper subset of primary key. So in our schema we have genre table which has composite primary key. So we will be checking for second condition category. So in genre table category and GSID will be giving popularity. So no proper subset of candidate key which is the set of category and GSID can determine non prime attribute that is popularity. This implies our table is in second. So for a relation to be in third normal form it should be in second normal form and it should not have any non key attribute which is functionally determined by another non key attribute. So if you will be looking at our relational schema there is no such non key attribute which is determining other another known key attribute. So our schema is in third normal form. So that's it from my side. Thank you.